Well, our sports correspondent, Rob Harris, is at the England Team Hotel. Rob, they haven't won. It's still a massive achievement for the Lionesses. And what next for them and for women's football? Well, next for them here is to head back from Sydney to England. I think they'll get a real sense of just how they've galvanised the nation, how their support has grown beyond their imagination throughout this run to the final. The fact is, England as a nation have not had a football final since 1966, and yet the Lionesses have done what the men have been unable to do for so long, and what female footballs were denied for so long. The fact we didn't have a Women's World Cup until 1991, the ban on women's football in England until the 1970s, and now the status is only growing. And what the Lionesses will be hoping for is increased investment and support for women's football more generally. A 75,000-seat packed stadium last night, that's what they want to be experiencing more often, particularly when they're playing in the Women's Super League. And that league does not begin again until October, the new season, so a bit of time to wait until then. They will be playing as England before then, in late September, for the Nations League against Scotland. And that will be the launch pad for the start of the renewed mission for more glory again. And Rob, some really sad news uh, coming out of the Spanish FA tonight concerning the captain, Olga Carmona. Yes, the Spanish FA announced that Olga Carmona's father died and she was only informed after the game, a game when she did score the only goal to secure Spain's victory. So emotions there. There was some scrutiny post-match on a kiss from the Federation head to her on the victory podium and then we discovered in more detail after the game just the um, the heartbreak she discovered post-match obviously a moment of great high the fact Spain winning their first women's world cup a tournament they came into perhaps as not as one of the favorites certainly the outsiders ending in glory in Sydney